We are off on a very last minute spare of the moment trip to Vienna, Austria. Very excited for this trip. Like I say, it was very spare of the moment. It was, well, it was last weekend. We decided I was just in bed. It was like, I think it was like Sunday morning. And I was just flicking through my phone and I started looking at Christmas markets and where is good to go in England for Christmas markets. And then as it does it gets a bit out of hand and you start thinking where in the world is good to go and and it's like no where in Europe is good to go and obviously obviously like Vienna Austria came up on those lists that I was looking at it is it has got a lot of Christmas markets and so I was like hmm can we go there's a few other places there and I was like I was looking at some flights you know when you just you're not really looking seriously to go and do something like this, but it was just like, oh, could we get to this place? How much are the flights? So, and actually, I started looking, we could get to Vienna from Liverpool, flying from Liverpool to Vienna for, I think it was like £80 each of us. I thought that was a bargain. That's a bargain. Unfortunately, we are flying Ryanair. I do have a big thing about Ryanair. I didn't realise, I'm going to have a little, a little bit of a Ryanair rant right now. I didn't realise that it was with Ryanair at first. It was with a company, I thought it was like with um, an Austrian, uh, what are they called, airline. Turns out it's not, it's Ryanair. And by the time I got, by the time I realised it was Ryanair, I was so deep into it, I was like, oh, I can't back out of it now. But yeah, it's Ryanair. I hate, I'll be honest, hate Ryanair. I have vowed many times never to fly with them again. And I'm going to vow again not to fly with them again one of the things that have, they've tipped me over the edge a little bit this time because you could always take like your little like your handbag and then you carry on that's free right not anymore with Ryanair you have to pay for that bag to take on that is just it kind of blew my mind a little bit I was furious with that but like I say I was so deep into it I couldn't really go back on it like we'd arranged because Lara was traveling from London we'd found a flight for Lara from London it was just, we were just too deep into it, but I will say now, I am never flying Ryanair again. They are, oh my goodness, I hate them. As an airline, I'm sorry, but I just hate them. Does anyone else agree? I just can't believe that they're going to charge me to take my hand luggage on board. I find that ridiculous. Like, already, like, they don't have the seat pockets. I feel like all the pilots are on, like, training days. You never have a good landing. I don't like Ryanair, I do, oh my goodness, don't let me fly with them again, anybody do not let me fly with Ryanair, anyway, that's what we're doing today, we are flying with Ryanair, it so annoys me that they charge me, I can't even get over it, but I'm gonna, they, I couldn't even get a hand luggage, it wouldn't allow me to take a hand luggage on board when I went through, I had to check one in, I did, I, I don't know, but anyway, so we've both got, in terms of, so it's me and Stephen are flying from Liverpool this evening. We haven't even started packing yet, but whatever, it's fine. We'll just like throw a few things in a bag. We've got, um, so me and Stephen are flying from Liverpool to Vienna and have got one little personal item and one 10 kilo checking bag. And Lara is meeting us in Vienna. She's flying from London, Gatwick, I think she's flying from, I'm not sure, but she's in work today, so it made sense for her just to fly up from, or fly down, to Vienna from London. Her flight does get in a little bit before, so she's just going to sit in the airport and wait for us. Uh, but very excited to go to Vienna. We're just going there for, for the weekend, just have a little explore, go and see the Christmas markets and things, and yeah, just have a little wander. Pretty excited about it. We've got quite, a, well, not quite a bit to do. I don't actually know what we've got to do other than pack. I think all I've got to do is pack, to be quite honest. Um, we're not flying until, I think it's, it's not five o'clock. Lara's flying at five o'clock from London. We're flying from, we're flying at seven o'clock. I think we're flying at seven o'clock tonight, which I think the latest we've ever flown. Seven o'clock's late. But yeah, Stephen is off school today, actually. There's an inset day, so he's knocking around all day. Um... So we're just going to pack and then kind of just chill out and get the house sorted. I always like to have a bit of a clean of the house before we go away so we come back to a tidy house. But yeah, excited for this trip. Liverpool to Vienna. <laughs> We are 
are all done, ready to go. Poor Stephen is feeling like absolute garbage. She's woken up all snotty and rubbish today. We're going quite a bit earlier because we're gonna have some late lunch on the way. Like it'll be very late lunch by the time we have it, but we're going, sorted. Yeah. You're the lightest packer I've ever met. Right, yeah, we got this bag that we're checking in. This that I'm taking on board and Stephen's, we're gonna go that way. Oh. Oh, he's okay, <laughs> I need to blow my nose. We're driving to, well, well, yeah, we are driving to the airport, but we're driving for lunch first and then to the airport. Oh my goodness, sun is bright. This is gonna be a really fun lunch. Stephen's just snotting past himself. <laughs> How do you feel, Stephen? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh dear. We're loading him up with some vegetables from the salad to see if we can get some nutrients into him so it disappears. <laughs> All done in Pizza Hut. Lunch was delicious. Poor Stevens, not good at all to be, to be fair. You know when you're dead snotty and you like, it's like you need to blink. It's like, it's like that, isn't it? I can't explain, it's horrible. Um, I've just realized though, I have forgotten my headphones wonderful so we're gonna make a quick trip to asda on the way to the airport i know i could buy them at the airport but i'm not paying airport prices we're gonna drive past asda like as it's just there so asda and then off to the airport oh maybe go backwards rather than forwards here we go these will do sorted now we can go to the airport oh my goodness it seems like a long time since i've driven to the airport it's oh, a, oh. it is a very long time when's the last time i drove to the airport Italy. no i didn't oh, drive to the airport Italy. i drove to the train station if i give you a postcode bulgaria, bulgaria. a summer la not last summer the summer before if i give you a postcode can you pop it in there yes it's happening oh, chilly chilly Getting on our matching coats. They're not matching, you've got fur. They're not matching, you're right, they're not matching. They're definitely needed. Definitely needed, aren't they? Oh, I wish I brought something with a hood. Right, let's go. We've just, actually, before we go, we've just been speaking to Lara on the phone. She's, like I say, she's meeting us there. She's flying from London. She just messaged us to say that oh, there's been like a big incident in London. Um, I don't think anyone's died. I hope they've not. Uh, a big incident on London Bridge and her work was in lockdown so luckily she left before work went into lockdown otherwise she wouldn't have been able to um <laughs> to come to vienna there was like was there shooting no stabbing what did you stabbing stabbing hopefully everyone's okay but that's just happened but lara isn't there she managed to get out of london before that was that was happening so she's at the airport now she's at gatwick ready i'm so <laughs> Freezing. Should we get in? Let's get in. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Cheers. So here we go. We've dropped our bag off. just sitting relaxing waiting to be called it seems like it's taken a long time to be honest i feel like we've been here very early but i don't think we were here very early it just seems that way but hey no problem it is time gate 42 we're off get on the plane you okay no. he's feeling rubbish poor thing <laughs> Travelling at like seven o'clock on a Friday night from Liverpool. You get some characters on the plane, I've got to tell you. I think it's gonna be loud. I just said to Stephen I might just like have a little doze. But there's some pretty loud boots to be honest. Maybe that's not gonna happen. We're gonna be the last ones on the plane. The very last one. It's the one behind us. Ooh, fresh. 
to Stephen, like on our boarding passes it says Lorder, like the people that I thought we booked with. And the plane is a Lorder plane, it's not by an airplane. But everything that you go through is by an air. I don't know, I don't understand. I wonder if we've got pocket things on a lot. We've got pocket things, Stephen. Oh, that would be nice. Fly well. Plane, fly well. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On the upper plane, I would like to welcome you on board this Airbus A320. Flight from Vienna is calculated two hours, and Captain of this flight has already to do himself. We have arrived, we're in Vienna, that flight was pretty, pretty good, not too bad at all to be honest. Passport control, find lava. It looked green didn't it? We found Lava, that was very simple. She was just sat outside waiting for ages. Was it okay waiting? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, she'd been Met waiting. My book, my Two and a half hours or so we've been waiting. I was thinking, I think you set off. You landed when we set off, I right? was thinking that. Yeah, timing wise. Yeah, we've just bought tickets for the cat, which is the speed, speed train to the city. Stephen's free, it was like 0 to 14 years of free. Yes, um, we're heading there now. Oh look, welcome to Vienna. Christmas. Trees. Oh, here's our train, it's double decker. We love a good one to it. Well, I can't speak, I'm so excited. A double decker train. What? Sure. Yeah. But these, these only do from the airport to the city. Oh, yes. Nice. Where do you want to go? You want to go there? Go on then. Oh, lava. You want to go there? Just bringing you into the toilet just to show you. Look at this. It's in the toilets on the, um, on the train. This is, look, it's all like the countryside around. Well, they're not playing now. Bird play. Maybe I'll lock the door. Oh, maybe it only comes on when you lock the door. It's a bit strange. It's like you're having a wee in the. Um, in the woods, isn't it? Lovely warm coat. Do you know what? Stephen's got a matching one. <laughs> we didn't do it on purpose. Well, that was a very pleasant journey on that train. We're now at a 24, not about, it is 24 minute walk to a hotel. Welcome in. <laughs> Stephen's Jones. <laughs> Entrance to the hotel. Oh look, over here, over here. I thought it, that's a shop or something. Ooh. No, it doesn't. Does it? I don't think I very very often go here. It sounds healthy, to be honest. <laughs> think you found it? Mm, should be quiet. 
No. No such room exists. Where are we? 519. 521. Is it 521? 521. I don't understand. No, it's fine. Easy. But we found it. Next to next to number one. <laughs> no idea. Here we go. Here's our room. We're having a few issues with our check-in. We've been given one double bed. So I've just been down <laughs> to see the lady. It's like I just want to go to bed to be honest. It's half past twelve now. I've just been down to see and there's just been confusion with when you've booked when we've booked it through hotels. It says that we want a triple room, but on their system it's come through as a double room. I don't know. But anyway, um there's no other rooms because the hotel's all booked up. So she's gonna see if she can get us a bed. And I said that we're not fussy, we just want something. Because I'm tired and I want to go to bed to be quite honest. So hopefully that you won't take too long. You've got one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Laura hasn't got a bed. Yeah, it's Laura who hasn't got a bed. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on that really. I might get ready for bed. Wait for the bed to come and then in the morning, I'm going to go out in the morning I think for a run or something. But I will say goodnight for now. Good morning. So obviously it's the next morning now and we sorted out our whole bed situation last night we got beds from the hotel no problem and i am just out now i got up early one of my favorite things to do well just in general anyways not for all early morning walk so i left the hotel early i am down on the um, down on the danube river which it's a lovely walk i'm really enjoying myself down here i'm just having a little stroll along here i've left them back at the hotel asleep i'm going to go back and see them in a little bit and we're going to make plans for the rest of the day but i'm going to end this vlog here and i'm going to start i'm going to about to just cop on and start a another one and uh, yeah i will see you soon thanks so much for watching goodbye but i'm going to get run over by a bin, a bin man swat it's snowing <laughs>